The M4 phase is slowly wrapping up, and naturally, the focus is shifting toward the iMac with an M5 chip. A lot of people are asking when the new iMac will come and whether it's getting any real changes this time. According to leaks, Apple is already working on M5 chips, and the big reveal could come around October or November the 2025 if Apple sticks to its usual schedule. The current iMac design was introduced with the M1 model in 2021. It was a major refresh with a super slim design, white bezels, liked by some, disliked by others, and came in a range of colors. It also introduced a few convenient features, like the ability to run Ethernet through the power brick, meaning only one cable needs to connect to the iMac itself. Depending on your configuration, you either got two USB-C ports and two Thunderbolt 4 ports or four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. The iMac also came with wireless accessories like the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and a wireless mouse. In terms of performance, the M1 iMac stayed relevant for a while, skipping the M2 entirely. Then, in late 2023, Apple added the M3 chip, but the update was limited to the processor itself. Toward the end of the 2024, the iMac got another refresh with the M4 chip and some updated colors. But again, not much else changed. Now, as the M5 approaches, the big question is, what's going to be different? Don't expect a new design. Apple just added new colors with the M4, and the overall look is likely to stay the same for now. But internally, there could be a few upgrades. One of the more probable ones is that all ports might now support Thunderbolt 5. Currently, the base M4 iMac has two Thunderbolt 4 ports and two USB 3 ports. With the M5, all four ports could shift to Thunderbolt 5, especially since the M5 chip is expected to support it across the board, unlike the M4, where only the Pro and Max versions had Thunderbolt 5. As for the configuration, the base model of the M4 iMac currently starts at $1,299 and offers an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU, which frankly is less than what even an iPad Pro or a MacBook Air offers. To get the full 10-core CPU and GPU, plus extra Thunderbolt ports and the Touch ID keyboard, you need to upgrade to the second configuration. It's likely that Apple will keep this strategy for the M5 model as well, with basic specs in the base model and better value in the upgraded one. Storage and RAM options probably won't change either. Expect the base storage to remain at 256 gigabytes and the starting RAM to stay at 16 gigabytes. Apple just bumped those specs recently, so they'll likely hold steady for at least another generation. What do you think about the upcoming iMac M5? Worth the wait or just another quiet refresh? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more Apple updates.